G'day, how you going? Thanks for clicking on it. Not sure if you know what geopolymer is, you probably heard a lot about it. Um, so I'm gonna read this to help share some knowledge on what it is. So geopolymer concrete is an innovative eco-friendly construction material material and an alternative to Portland cement concrete. Uses of geopolymer reduces the demand for Portland cement, which is responsible for a high CO2 emission. So what is geopolymer concrete? Geopolymer was the name given by Dated in 1978 to materials which are characterized by chains or networks of inorganic molecules. Geopolymer cement concrete is made from the utilization of waste materials such as fly ash and ground granulated blast furnace slag. Fly ash is the waste product generated from thermal power plant and ground granule blast furnace slag is generated as waste material in steel plants. Both fly ash and GGBS are processed by appropriate technology and used for concrete works in the form of geopolymer concrete. The use of this concrete helps reduce the stock of waste and also reduces carbon emission by reducing Portland cement demand. The main constituent of the geopolymer source of silicon and aluminium which provide biothermal activated natural materials e.g. carolite or industrial byproducts e.g. fly ash or slab and an alkaline activating solution which polymizes these materials into molecular chains and networks to create a hardened bind. It also called uh, alkaline activated cement or inorganic polymer cement. The following materials are required to produce this concrete. Fly ash, a byproduct of the thermal power plant, GGBS, a byproduct of the steel plant, and fine aggregates and coarse aggregates as required for normal concrete. Alkaline activator solution for GPCC, as explained above, a catalytic, catalytic liquid system is used as an alkaline activator solution. It also it's a combination of solutions of alkaline sisolites and hydrates besides distilled water. The role of the alkaline activator solution is to activate the geopolymer source materials containing SI and AL, such as fly ash and GGBS. So the mechanical properties of the geopolymer concrete, it compresses, compressive strength of geopolymer concrete have been found up to 70 MPa and N mm square, so be a nanometer nanomillimeter square. The concrete uh, gains and compresses strength rapidly and faster than ordinary Portland cement concrete. The concrete strength after 24 hours has been found to have more than 25 MPa compressive strength after 28 days having been found to be 60 to 70 MPa. Reference paper by James Aldridge and John Day. Test results by S.E.R.C. Cheney. Other properties of geopolymer concrete, the drying shrinkage is of, of much less compared to cement concrete. This makes it well suited for thick and heavily restrained concrete structural members. It has low heat hydration in comparison with cement concrete. The fire resistance is considerably better than OPC based concrete and the concrete jazz chlorine permeability rating of low to very low as per ASTM uh, 1202C. It offers better protection to reinforcement steel from corrosion as compared to traditional cement concrete. This concrete are found to possess very high acid resistant when tested under exposure to 2 to 10 percent sulfuric acid. The applications is same as cement concrete however this material has not yet been properly used for various applications. <coughs> And this concrete has been used for construction of pavements, retaining walls, water tanks, precast bridge decks. So recently, the world's first structural building, mm, the University of Queensland's Global Change Institute, has been constructed with the use of geopolymer concrete. It is a four-story high building for public use. Mm. Wagners. They're the ones that um, built the camp out at um, Toowoomba for quarantine. Wagners provided some 
33, there's a the number, <laughs> of earth-friendly concrete for the production of 33, oh, there we go, again, large floor blooms that form three suspended floor levels in the Global Change Institute building at the University of Queensland, St. Lucia Con campus. The CGI Sustainable Building Construction is showcase of the next generation environmental building techniques. The design brief was for sustainable building construction and operation that would serve as an outward reflection of the objectives of the organization housed within. From the outset of the design process, project architects Hassel Group and project engineers Bly Tanner were extremely interested in having the most environmental concrete technology available in the world today, geopolymer concrete including in the building structure. EFC is the only commercially available geopolymer concrete in Queensland and one of the very few available in the world. This unique project marks a new era of sustainable concrete construction in Queensland and is the world first application of modern geopolymer concrete in the structure of a multi-story building. Professor Joseph Davids, the original pioneer and inventor of the geopolymer chemistry visits Wagner in 2015 and inspects CGI building at Wellcamp Airport. There we go. Um, I'm going to have to go and check this building out. I really am. And there's the black bits that Paul Cook was talking about. And when I went to um, boarding school... Um, Wagner's daughter used to go to the same school. She was a day girl, I was a boarder. Visit to Geopolymer Concrete Airport and the Eco Building. Brisbane, and this is where they keep, like, the quarantine camp. Brisbane West Wellcamp Airport, Toowoomba, Queensland, is Australia's first greenfield public airport to be built in 48 years. Um became fully operational with commercial flights operated by Qantas Links in November 24. CR News dated 17 October 14th, 2014. This project marks a very significant milestone in engineering, the world's largest geopolymer concrete project. The airport was built with approximately 40,000 metres squared or 100,000 tonnes of geopolymer concrete, making it the largest application of this new class of concrete in the world. Geopolymer concrete developed by the company Wagner's bullshit, known as earth-friendly concrete, was found to be well suited for the construction method during its high, flexible tensile strill, low shrinkage and workability characteristics. Heavy-duty geopolymer concrete for three, four thirty-five millimeter thick, used for the churning node, apron, and taxiway aircraft payments. Welcomes a heavy seven four seven cargo for a regular air tra traffic between Toowoomba well Camp. Uh, airport and Hong Kong. For technical details, read the paper by Gatsby in 2015. This isn't new, this concrete. This concrete is very old. It's been, you know, used for generations. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think they might also call it Ro um, Roman concrete as well. On October 7, 2015, Joseph and Ralph Davids drove with Tom Gatsby and Russell Grinch, company wagers from Toowoomba to Brisbane, uh, news dated 10th of uh, December 2013 was titled The World's First Public Building with Structural Geopolymer Concrete. No, there are thousands, millions of buildings in the world with it. It introduced the world's first building to successfully use geopolymer concrete for structural purpose. The Global Change Institute, University of Queensland, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, four story high building for general use comprises three suspended geopolymer concrete floors involving 33 cre precast panels and are made from slag, fly ash based geopolymer concrete, coined earth friendly concrete, and Wagner's brand name for their commercial form of geopolymer concrete. The other one said it was three stories for it, but you got the, they have to throw the 33 numbers in, don't they? I have met this bloke. So, 70,000 tonnes of geopolymer concrete for the airport in Australia on September 28, 2014. The newly completed Brisbane Well Camp Airport held a community open day. More than 27,000 Queenslanders attended and took advantage of the opportunity to explore the airport before it officially began operation on 7th of November. Well Camp Airport becomes the greenest airport in the world. More than 30,000 cubic metres of the world's lowest carbon, cement-free geopolymer concrete, Wagner's earth-friendly concrete, was used to save more than 6,600 tonnes 
of carbon emissions in the construction of the airport. There's that number 66 again. The Australian company Geopolymer Concrete Pioneer. Yeah, well, they didn't develop. <clears throat> they just, um, it's an old concrete that they've just, um, you know, added their, their way of doing it. Technical paper on Geopolymer aircraft payment last year, 24th October 14th, 2014. News was entitled 70,000 tonnes of Geopolymer concrete for the airport. Presented company Wagner's newly developed Geopolymer concrete in construction at Brisbane's World Camp Airport at Toowoomba, Australia, which became fully operational with commercial flights operated by Qantas Link. It was built with approximately 40,000 metres squared of Geopolymer concrete, making it the largest application of new class of concrete in the world. Yeah, it's the same as before. Nothing really different. Oh, I'm not doing that. No way. Yeah. All right. I just find it interesting that this building of all buildings at the University of Queensland is done with that. But okay. So geopolymer bricks using iron ore tailing, slag sand, ground, granular blast, flannel slag, fly ash. Word is pound with millions of tons of industrial waste, such as uh, ground granulated blast, flannel slag, fly ash, mine tailings, and various at various industrial waste. The best way to make use of these wastes is to incorporate these materials as structural elements, which in turn minimizes the carbon footprint in this contest. The study focuses on using iron ore tailings and slag sand as a replacement for clay or natural sand for the production of stabilized geopolymer blocks. Also, in the study of geopolymers used as a stabilizer instead of cement, development of geopolymer binder based bricks using fly ash and ground granulated blast flannel slag has been carried out in this research. The study includes mechanical properties of the geopolymer bricks, sodium sisalite, sodium hydroxide. So the solution have been used as alkaline activators. The ratio of alkaline liquid to aluminoscate solid ratio and percentage of a binder had a major influence in the strength of the brick. The bricks were cast and cured at an ambient tensure, temperature and the compressive strength was carried out at 7, 14 and 28 days. So they got a big problem with sand being taken out of the ocean for um, construction. And if you've got a fish tank, I'm pretty sure if it's, you know, say you've got a fish tank and it's half full with sand and you start taking the sand out. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's going to end up fucked. <laughs> Excuse my French. Um, I'm not going to go read through this. Um, but I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, see here, it says, Earth is the oldest building material Use my man. All over the world, there are thousands of earth buildings which are over 500 years old. All these structures are still sound condition after the world occupied. Even if earth is an ancient building material, the earth building tradition has been kept blowing. Um, this stuff isn't new, and this other company is trying to claim it is, you know. They're trying to claim it as their own cement. They didn't create it, you know. They've just gotten the idea off all the other things. And, um put it into action but anyway wherever you are in the world thanks for watching raise your vibrations much love see you in the next one bye now